All right? And it says, and the smoke of their torment ascend this up forever and ever, meaning that smoke is going to burn for a long time. And then it's going to finally fizzle down. And then what's going to be left is a desert, the biggest desert on the planet. And they, sh and they have no rest nor uh, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of, of his name. All right? Yeah, I found the scripture. Because um, you made a statement, Apostle Ramlab, you made a statement how the so-called white man's contracts are going to be destroyed. Mm. Like, um, like uh, the, you know, the chip and the Social Security and the different <coughs> contracts that this devil has, which is really the chains of our slavery. Uh, this is the book of Second Thessalonians 2 and 7. It says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth, letteth, letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And that's the time we're in now where the so-called white man who's in power is going to be taken out of the way. Now, at the time this was uh, uh, said and written, you had the so-called white man ruling as the Romans. And they're the mystery of, uh, of iniquity, especially the two-thirds of our people. There's still a mystery of iniquity. Two-thirds of our people don't realize that the so-called white man is the devil. He's, he's the uh, personification of iniquity, all right? And he, it says, Duff already work. He's doing his work. His, his, his magnum opus is going to be that chip. <laughs> you look up that term, magnum opus, it means great work. Now, he, here's the verse. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, which he's being revealed now, him and his plans, you know, the so-called New World Order. Hey, one of the reasons they canceled that, uh, there was supposed to be a, a, a what do you call it, a, a, like a show, uh, a revealing of uh, the Temple of Baal in here in New York. One of the reasons they canceled it is because it, it, it's Too being revealed. Too many people knew about Too it. Too many people, and right. They, we were going to go down there and everybody and their mom was going to be down there uh, exposing it, man. Yeah. So that's why, that's why they did it. Not, they, didn't t t they didn't say that, but that's why they did it. Yeah, that's right. So the, the prophecy says, and then that wicked, and then shall that wicked be revealed. How is he being revealed? Through the internet. Yeah. Through us doing these, these shows and and constantly, we're doing the live shows now. So he's being revealed. Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Now, I see that word destroy. I think of all the, that, uh, in circu uh, that circles, that, that devil, the, you know, the contracts and all that. When Yahweh Shai comes back, first the truth, and then when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to destroy all of that. You know? Yeah, Isaiah 52, verse 2. It says, shake, this is to Israel, shake thyself from the dust. The dust is confusion. So if you are Baptist, Methodist, Jehovah Witness, Seventh-day Adventist, uh, Roman Catholic, uh, you was part of the black conscious commu community, you were more, you know, you were Islam, part of Islam or whatever, whatever you was into, man, it says you got to shake yourself from that, man. Arise and sit down. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a people before as a place. It says, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Now the word band is the same word for bond. And the bond is, 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 a, uh, is, a, is, a, is a document saying that this is my slave. This guy right here is my slave. Like when you go to Bell's bondsman, you got to go, got, you, in order for you to make a bell, if you don't have enough to, pay the bill you go to a bondsman and in some states it's 10 percent over here it's like what 20 percent all right but they make you sign all kind of contracts and then you got to call them whether it be every friday uh, you know before 12 you got to call in so basically you're a slave unto them until that until that case is uh, over with all right so you became a bond unto that guy and then if if, if you break that bond they can take you and keep, they'll keep that money, and then they're going to lock your ass up any damn way. And Jake mo normally does that any goddamn way. That's why Jake gets uh, messed up in the system, you know. He'll, he'll, he'll have a charge on him, a case on him, and then in that six months of going back and forth to court, he gets caught out there again, so there's a case upon another case. Then there's a bench warrant on him. So you, and, and Esau knows that, man. Esau knows that. When they get you on the first case, by the time they, 
find your ass guilty on that one case, they done found you guilty on all kind of cases, man. And you and you stuck in that system, all right? So so said so read again. Shake thyself from the dust, confusion. The word dust means confusion. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands, bonds of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. We're captives under this man right now, right? Now it says in Revelation. Eighteen. Okay, it says Revelation eighteen verse one. It says, "And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, um, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a, a, a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils.' Now, our uh, high priest Ariah used to say that that was talking about." When, when, when Esau took this land from Gad, and the devils are the, are the so-called white man, he went off on that, all right? <coughs> it's talking about this place, Babylon, the USA, America, if you will, being destroyed. After the, 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 the missiles drop and the angels and the, and the ships shoot their lasers, that's when the destruction comes. So there's going to be an angel that's going to say this place is, is done, you know? It says, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great, the fallen, the fallen, has become, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hole of every uh, foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, these scavengers. Because it tells you that also in um, Isaiah uh, 34, 16, all right? You're going to have desert creatures in this, in this place. And um, it says in the third verse, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, uh, which is a system. That's why you have a democratic system. You have pres presidents and prime ministers. That, was, that came from Esau, all right? And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, all right? How did China become rich? By way of the system of America. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Now to come up out of her is talking about when the angels come and the ships come, the, my people is talking about the elect. It's not talking about all of Israel. Because not, not all of the Lord's people are going to be, be delivered on this go around. They're going to have to come back through the, uh, the elect. You know, through the one-third as their sons and daughters. And that plague is found in Zechariah 14 and 12 um, when it speaks about the plague of the missiles, all right? It says, for her signs have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Remember her even as, re re reward her, I'm sorry, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she hath filled filled to her double it says how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart I said a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow <coughs> and that sorrow <coughs> that sorrow is going to be that destruction and it's going to come in what's going to happen in one hour so we're living in that time but before all that takes place, that the, m the main uh, prophecy, when, when, when this prophecy actually fully comes to pass, that's when everything's going to speed up. And that's that, uh, the mark of the beast. Okay. I, I got one scripture to add to that, because um, El Apostle Tom made the statement about, um, they, uh, you know, in one hour they're going to see uh, sorrow. Because the attitude right now is that they're not seeing any sorrow, so they're proud. Uh, this is the book of uh, Nahum 1 and 12. It says, Thus saith the Lord, though they be quiet, meaning the attitude is, I shall not see any sorrow, and likewise many, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down. <laughs> How are they going to be cut down? By those missiles and the chariots of uh, uh, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. When he shall pass through. Who is the he that, that's going to pass through? Yahweh Shai, through, with those chariots, also those missiles. 
though I have afflicted thee, and he's speaking to uh, Israel, I will afflict thee no more, beginning with the elect. For now will I break his yoke from off thee, and will burst thy bonds in, in sunder. What, what is the yoke and the bonds? All these contracts, including that chip, right? So that's pretty much it. That's right, that's right. So going back to the book, it says, This mark of the beast is a physical mark and mark of judgment and condemnation. Revelation 14, 9 through 11, which I believe Apostle Tara was reading, uh, was reading that earlier. It says, and not, not to be confused with the mark found in Ezekiel 9 and 4 and Romans 16 and 17. And see, and this is the reason why you have a lot of you guys out there that, that don't understand what's going on. Because here it is, you know, you let guys like Nate and, and them other clowns at the IUIC tell you, well, look, when you go to the uh, English word mark in Ezekiel 9 and you go to the English word mark here and there, it all means the same thing. It's, 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 they're different marks. Different. That's why th you have to go back to the original language to see exactly what that word was in the original language, you know. And that's why you, a lot of you guys are, are, ca are caught up into that because you're not doing the research yourself. Now, if you would pray to Yahweh Hashem El Shai and look and do the research, the Lord could open up your mind. It says we understand that the mark in Ezekiel nine and four is a is a sign of exemption from judgment, which is exactly what it is. And that the mark in Romans 16, 17 means to observe, which that's that Greek word skopeo. Take heed, take notice of, pay attention, consider, behold, by means of diligently researching the etymology. So basically, just on those two words alone, you know by going to the uh, original language what they mean and what context they were in. Quick uh, scripture, uh, Proverbs 27 and 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. And hide of himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, the simple pass on and are punished. Because you guys, the simple believeth every word. That's what the scriptures say. But the prudent man looketh well to his going. It says, by means of diligently researching the etymology and origin of the word, the Hebrew used in Ezekiel 9 and 4 is thwa. Wait a minute, didn't it say study to show thyself approved? That's right. So them other guys, they ain't studying, man. God, rightly so divine the word of truth. Right. You know? And, yeah, you know, we're supposed to uh, wake Israel up. We're supposed to, you know, well, we're supposed to teach, and the Lord wakes Israel up. You're supposed to teach about the laws, of course. We're supposed to keep the laws. But there's many other aspects of the truth than just the law because we can't, we're not going to be saved by keeping the law perfectly. We're not going to be saved by our own righteousness, as the Apostle Paul said, which is of the law. We're going to be saved because it's, it was already uh, predestined, you know. It says, uh, the Hebrew used in Ezekiel 94 is thewa, <coughs> sign, mark, or signal. And the Greek used in Romans 6.17 is skopeo, to look at, observe, where the words scope, telescope, horoscope, skeptic, skeptical, all derive from. We see the mark of the beast in Revelation is distinctively different with a contrasting definition and meaning from the mark found elsewhere in the scriptures. As Mark in Revelation involves incision. So, excuse me, that's why you have to go back to the original language. That's why that, that, that dude, you know, uh, the lemur, he said uh, they could never go to the English. They always got to go to the Greek, the Greek, the coin Greek, the Paleo Hebrew. Man, you need to shut the hell up, man. Because if you if you if you were to go to go back to the, to those languages, you'll be able to understand what the scriptures is talking about, and you put it in the right context. But my question is, where did they get them Hebrew names from? Where did they get them Lashawan? Where did they get them names from? Yeah, yeah. Where did they get them from? Yeah. I got a quick scri uh, scripture. I mentioned it. I'll read it again. Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the heavenly Father, a workman that like they can talk all the shit they want to about. Great millstone, but we we study, God. all right. We get into words and all of that, man. Uh, study to show thyself approved unto the heavenly Father, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. And them them other guys, they they should be ashamed, but they but they replace that with pride. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, an example of dividing the word of truth is getting into the Greek, yeah. the Latin, and the Hebrew right. to divide the word, to 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 break the word apart, to to get the understanding of the word. Yeah. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That's, yeah, that's one aspect of it. God, God. Yeah, because those were the languages that were predominantly being spoken back then. 
You know, and that's that's the, the languages that the, the Bible was written in and translated into the English. You know, that's why when you go out there, man, a lot of times you, you get your ass handed to you. I'm talking about the lemur. Um, this, what is the relevance and connection between the physical mark? Well, he's the same guy that said you can call the most high yo play yeah. yogurt. That's right. And, you know, that's, that's been marked down, man. That, yeah. you know, <laughs> you're going to have to pay for that, man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that, that ain't no joke, man. And, and, your, and your boy Nate, he, gonna, he, he got a lot of blood on his hands, man, just based off of the name alone. What is the relevance and connection between the physical mark found in the book of Revelation with RFID and how do they pertain to each other? At present, RFID technology is being used in electronic vehicle registration, public transit, bus, rail, subway, retail, and inventory systems, the Department of Defense, military, passports, libraries, museums, schools, and universities, hospitals, and healthcare, and in credit cards and debit cards. Now when you go to a, a wash your clothes, they give you a card with a chip in it. You know, and there's different aspects of where that, that now, now you can't even swipe your credit card anymore. They want the chip. They want the chip part to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, be, be brought into the, um, into the uh, uh, scanning thing, you know, because it, it, everything is being made um, easier, so to speak, or convenient through that, that, uh, um, through that RFID chip. It says it can be used in the form of a small chip known as an RFID chip or microchip. And they've been they've been at this for the longest, you know. They've been they've they've studied every the ins and outs of of the RFID microchip technology and how to track and keep track of everything, you know. They've been studying all that, you know. That's why they keep bringing out this uh, credit card and that credit card, the EBT card. You used to be able to get cash and food stamps, you know, the the paper ones. Now you got to get the uh, the the cards, different snap cards and whatever cards you have in in your your area, you know. Why? Because everything is being made electronic so it could be easier to track. Quick scripture, uh, Revelation 16 and 14. For they are the spirits of devils <laughs> working miracles. And that's one of those miracles, that chip, you know, making everything electronic. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's yeah, pretty high much High tech. It. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 17, verse 5. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart dis, uh, de departed from Yahweh. All right, because a lot of you scoffers say, "Well, these guys be trusting you." They don't have. We don't. We don't tell them to trust us, man. We tell them to trust what the, what the word said, man. All right. It goes on to say in uh, First John four and one, it said, "Beloved, believe not every spirit." But try the spirits, whether they be of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. So now you have uh, IUIC, you have the ISUPK, you have the GOCC, you have, you have the HODC, you have the uh, ICGC, J, I can't even say that, JC. Um, you got all these different groups. All right, you got all these different groups. And then you got GMS. There, somebody's going, somebody's wrong. A lot of them is wrong. There's one group that's right, and the rest of them is wrong. All right? So now if you're part of any of those groups, you should try the spirit. Hey, if you're part of GMS, that's why we tell you, look, go ahead and watch all them other videos, man. You can watch ISUPK. You can watch uh, I, uh, uh, IUIC. You can watch GOCC. Now, if you get caught up in that and you decide to follow them, then that's on you. All right? But the scripture said try the spirit. And what I see is, going back to that word, and um, Apostle Gabar, could you look up uh, Google the word uh, herd mentality? Because that's going to say a lot. It said, beloved, be, be, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they, be, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesses, confess that now it says Jesus Christ. Now you know we ain't gonna say Jesus Christ. They're